Good morning. I still look a little bit crazy, but we've got to fix that now. But I thought while I was getting ready, um, I'm going to do a little intro. Because today, after a long, long while, I'm going to take you through my day. I just felt like showing you what's going to happen today, uh, because it's a pack day. For now, I'm just getting ready, because actually, I have to... Um, make a self-tape for something I applied for. It's like a job as an extra, but you have a small part where you also need to talk. And I don't know, I just started a couple of months ago um, to randomly apply to these kind of jobs. Um, so modeling jobs um, and small acting and commercial jobs. and. Obviously, there are so many people, so they often uh, just don't write back, but sometimes they do. And yeah, I thought this was a fun one, and I think it's a fun task to do. So I'm just gonna see where this is going. I actually don't expect much from it. It's for a local cafe here in Düsseldorf. Wow, I look so crazy, but we're gonna fix that now. The plan for today is to take that self tape and um, submit it and then I think I'm gonna call my parents because it's Sunday and we usually had for a while this tradition to call each other even though it's kind of um, stopped somehow I don't know but yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do at 11 I have my seminar about creative producing in the evening I'm gonna go to the gym and I think and I needed to do something else, but I don't remember right now. So let's go. Actually, fun fact this morning, I was still so sleepy that I just grabbed randomly on my desk here and I sprayed hairspray instead of deodorant on my arm. So yeah, good to know. Um, didn't feel good. Let me tell you. Actually, I'm a little bit nervous because I've never recorded a self-tape before. And I mean, I do YouTube, okay, but I don't have a script here. So I just randomly say whatever I want. But now, I don't know. I think it's a cool task though because, yeah, I never did it before. And no matter what is coming out of this, I recorded a self-tape then. Um, I'm just gonna go through the script a little bit and, and try to memorize it and then just naturally as possible try to say it I guess. Um, this whole situation is about, it's an advertising for a cafe as I said and it's about three girls who always go to the same cafe and just talk about things and I honestly have to say the script isn't like so catchy I would say, like it's alright but I feel like the jokes they build in, it's not that funny actually, but well, we'll see. I'm gonna give it a good try and I don't know. <laughs> I decided to wear something more simple because in the end they have to imagine myself in their context and I think it's always better to have something simple on. So let's do this. Okay, und was ist los? Du siehst aus, als wärst du gerade von einer Klasse. Okay, und was ist los? Du siehst aus, als wärst du gerade eine Weltreise hinter dir. Okay, und was ist los? 
Du siehst aus, als hättest du gerade eine Weltreise hinter dir. I got it now. It took like, I think, 10 to 15 takes, but I guess that's fine. I remembered all the lines and fingers crossed. And I changed my outfit again, by the way, because the other one, I felt like you could see too much and I didn't like it. But yeah. Also, by the way, I got a new fo phone case and look how sparkly it is. <laughs> I love it. fit for today cute fall um ready i would say it's sunday it's sunny it's cold but i love it and can we just talk about how humbling it is to have recorded the script while my flatmates are here i think they all must think i'm nuts but anyways just hearing me talk in my room the whole time but i'm gonna prepare some food Right now and then i'm gonna leave to be on time and yeah it's a great morning actually i didn't have time to call my parents yet and yeah maybe i will do that but Again, I just came home 
and I'm exhausted, but in a good way. Um, I changed into some comfy clothes. Let me tell you, those shoes were killing me and it was the worst idea to put them on, but I love them so much, but it's just, they look amazing, but I think they're a little bit too high and the um, heel is too thin. And at my university, there's this kind of sidewalk where you have a lot of small stones and you can stick in between them and they just hurt so much so they are more of like evening going into a bar and sitting a lot kind of shoes and not walking 50 and also when i take um, the train to university i still have to walk 15 to 20 minutes till i reach the building i have my course in because our university is a campus which is not typical for European universities. But yeah, it was not the best idea, but yeah, I had to push through it. Uh, my feet hurt a little bit, but that's beyond the point. Um, everything for the outfit, I guess. But now I have made um, a coffee with the coffee machine from, from my flatmate, actually. So credits to him, I guess. And look at my beautiful cup. I like it a lot. And I have some pear because it's fall and I just love fruit. I'm gonna say something very pick me, but recently someone asked me what is my favorite candy. And I honestly have to say fruit because like I know it's not candy candy, but if I would have the choice between candy and fruit, most of the days I would say I would go for fruit because it just oh, it hits so much harder and it's just so nice so i'm gonna enjoy this very much right now so the plan now is to just relax a little bit and yeah uh calm down and everything because um as i just said uh those seminars are very long and we had i think six hours i mean that's a work day basically but um, still it was very intense because we didn't do many breaks so it's over faster and we can go home earlier actually but yeah uh, so I'm just gonna relax a little bit drink my coffee okay while I'm sipping my coffee let me tell you a little bit more about the course I just had it's about creative producing and we basically in my um, studies um I study media and cultural studies, as you may know, if you follow me for a little bit now. And if you're new here, I still do. But anyways, um, yeah, and there we have um, a lot of courses that are just um, analyzing books and movies and yeah, um, media, philosophical texts and papers, I guess. But um, then we also have this practical courses where we can really learn from people who used to study the, the same thing or just people who have jobs related to our studies. And I had, for example, I had um, screenplay writing that we had to write different screenplays for movies or TV shows. And yeah it was very interesting but it was also very long like there we had multiple days where we had to come and then in between we had to write the um, concepts and then the scenes and everything like that and it was very time and energy consuming but also as i said very interesting and then i had another um, practical course in theater and it was about how you financially support your plays and the theater in general and yeah it was all about that and the financial stuff behind the scenes and how much a production costs and everything and this one i had right now as i said is about creative producing and um this was by far the best it was so good and compact but also interesting and we had to do a lot so also very intense but I had the seminar by a creative producer, he's in his mid-30s and he's such a cool person because he's still so young but successful and he really talked about his experience and he studied the same thing that we do right now. Um, and yeah, just basically told us what he's doing 
And then um, he also showed us his work. It was very impressive and he works in advertising. And, but also like the ads were very creative and yeah, I mean, ad nobody watches ads in their free time for fun. But if you look closely, it is kind of fun to see. Like sometimes they have a great concept and it's kind of funny or it looks very um, aesthetically pleasing or something like this. And his work did. Then we had to do some concepts ourselves. So for example, most of the time a brand is going to ask an agency to build a concept um, about a certain product or something they want to promote. Then the agency um, pitches something, an idea and a concept. And then when the brand likes it, the agency will find a film production that will produce the spot. Yeah, basically we did all three parts. So we were a brand that had a product to promote and we used actual brands that exist. And like kind of, it was so fun to just um, yeah, make up some new products and collaborations and things like that. And then we were the agencies um, that pitched uh, concepts for those products and how you could promote them in a fun, um, aesthetically pleasing, different way or just in general how ads are. And then um, we pitched those ideas and then in the end we... Uh, were the film production as well and we had to write to those concepts we had to write a um, director's interpretation which is like how you imagine the shots to what you imagine the shots to look like and um, yeah the different scenes and to plan the setting and everything like that and just it's a lot of planning but also so creative yeah, I don't know. For me, this is very interesting um, because I really want to work in, like, not in advertising specifically, but in that kind of creative um, industry. So maybe that was a long excuse right now, but maybe it was fun to hear about that. And then later on, I'm going to go to the gym um, because I'm still training for my half marathon. I mentioned this in my vision board video at the beginning of the year. But yeah, I want to run a half marathon and I already did just for myself this summer and I trained over the last couple of months, but it's very soon going to happen. So I still have to train and I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to the gym and maybe watch a movie later. So nothing all too special, but still I'm going to take you along. for our apartment and the kitchen and it's very sweet let's see as you can tell and you well know those posters and paintings I guess they're very popular culture famous I would say it's Matisse and it's gonna go into a kitchen room like, Two on one. We have this one, very pretty. This one, and this one. I'm excited. <laughs> waiting for my tram I actually had the idea to uh, pick up some food because um, I w wanted to do this for a while now there is this app called and this is not an ad um, it's called to go to go it's a system where you can order um, or pre-save food at the end of the day or like at the end of 
the opening hours from restaurants and bakeries and stuff like that that um, otherwise would have gotten thrown away so you save food that would have gotten thrown away so do something for the environment kind of and save the waste and you also get some food um, for a cheaper price so it's kind of a win-win and i swear this is not an ad i wish it were but yeah and actually i got this it was from a restaurant that was like 60 meters from the station <laughs> i had to wait so this was perfect and as i said i wanted to do this for the for a while now but i was always too lazy to go to the location but now i did it it was kind of a turkish restaurant i guess and in it <laughs> there was a private event i guess because it was i don't know i didn't understand anything there were a lot of people it was very loud and i was there in my Yes, gym clothes just standing there and was like here yeah, i ordered something and then uh, the sweet owner gave me this i'm excited um first up i have to say i usually am vegan but i do make like excuses or kind of when the food goes to waste i will eat it or in general i don't like to restrict myself but i generally have to say i don't like to eat meat so yeah and i saw at the restaurant i looked up um what they had and there were also dishes with meat and mussels as well and yeah uh, but so i'm very excited this is so you don't know what you order basically it's just what they have left and i ordered something i'm very excited i'm gonna open it with you together and that will be my uh dinner because as we all know germany all stores are closed on sunday and i don't have much at home so yeah we'll see it's pasta oh my god and it doesn't look as if meat is in there i'm so excited i'm gonna heat it up and then i'm gonna do my movie night but i think i'm gonna watch gimmer grits actually <laughs> wish you a good night. I hope you had fun spending the day with me. I'm gonna read a little bit now and then I'm going to bed. So thanks and see you next time. Mm -hmm.